Notification gang check. Well, we lit then. What's popping, art right, fam? Art right, ball checking in here. And today we have a lot to discuss. Now, let's jump right into it. First off, salute notification gang hitting that like button. But then you start, got a real art right, fam. Salute the way up first. We got that boy. Boom. Okay, fam. So when it came to that boy, boom, bro, like a few months ago, you know. Boom was going to find his way in the news one way or another, dog. I think it came from Boom being confused and trying to find out what works from him. He went from running off on people to being a prankster, to being an IG and Twitter porn star, to being a rapper. And we had to question ourselves and ask, what the hell does Boom do? Because we was confused too, bro. And it ain't like he was out there bit trying to show his versatility like most people do, dog. But... He literally was switching to one thing and saying that's what he do. All we knew was Bunk is built like an iPhone 4 charger car and not that bit wild and fam. That's it. And things got so bad to the point that he killed the character Bunk and went by his real name, John Cabana. Basically, he was saying he off the drugs. He done doing that extra stuff. He just going to focus on being a rapper, fam. And for the most part, since he made that change, Bunk been staying out of the way and out of trouble, bro. But you know the fuckery still lives within him, fam. So Boot now found himself in another situation, dog. And this time, he done washed up a cameraman not that bit. Now clearly Boot learned how to fight from watching Rico Ridley's kickboxing takes, bro. Because this man was swinging like he got inflatable tube man arms, dog. What the hell is going on? Now this whole situation has stirred up a conversation on social media about who's right and who's wrong in this situation, bro. Which leads me to a question for y'all. Who do y'all think right or wrong in this situation? I'm gonna leave y'all with the footage on what went down and them explaining their side of the story, bro. Once y'all get done watching, I need y'all to comment down below. What do y'all think about this entire situation? If you haven't already, make sure you sub to the channel. Also, follow me on IG and Twitter. Links are in the description. I'm out there, be All right, ball. Go. As a young director, I never thought I would be subjected to this type of treatment. I have the utmost respect for all artists, and I'll do everything in my power to capture their artwork. It's my job. I'm a director. I direct. I would never tell a musician how to play their instrument. It's sad that we have some artists out here that, you know, we would call clout chasers that would do anything to draw attention to themselves instead of, you know, perfect their craft and make their career last longer. Constructive criticism should never lead to anybody getting physically harmed. It's, it's just, I don't know how it works. The man rushing us out, and I'm sitting in the chair on set. I'm smiling. And Heisman sees me smiling, and he's like, the fuck you laughing at? This your career. I don't give a fuck. I'm like, what you talking about, bro? He said, you over here smiling like shit funny. I say, bro, I'm just smiling. I can smile if I want to. He say, uh, now listen, we're on set. Nigga, it's six girls in that bitch and everybody else in the room. One... He got him a little attitude because he getting rushed or whatever. I don't know why. But I could smile if I want to smile. Nobody going to tell me what, you know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to keep my composure because it's, it's, get, like, it's guests in the room. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I'm not trying to get, get out of my character in, in, front of, in, front of the, in front of the girls. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, bro, what you talking about? I can smile if I want to. And you know what I'm saying? He told me something. It's your career. I don't give a fuck. I get up. We walking out. I say, hey, man, you need to lose your attitude. He said, you lose your attitude. I said, you the one who talking to me crazy. He said, I could talk to you like how. I, he said, I could talk to you however I want to talk to you. So then that's when I that's when I walked up to him, put my hand in his face. I said, hey, man, you going to watch who the fuck you talking to. And then he pushed me. He said, I could talk to you however I want to. Uh, back up. And I, I, I shove my hand in his face. I, shove my, I keep shoving my hand in his face. I say, hey, bro, watch who the fuck you talking to. And he's still running his mouth. So then he got so he got them paws put on him. The fuck? He got them paws put on his ass. One, you don't you don't try to just show out and nobody. You don't sh you don't try to show out on a man in front of a group a, a, a group of girls. You know what I'm saying? 
or in front of guests. You just don't do that type of shit. In front of a group of girls and in front of guests, you don't show out in front of people. You know what I'm saying? 